get some respect and, and actually take an interest in what they're saying. That's all I care about. And so I don't think you're like that at all. I don't think I don't think Todd's that way. Uh, Rose can be that way sometimes, but she's not too bad about it. <laughs> she's okay. She's Rose is not like selfish though. She's like Rose is just very. Rose, are you there? By the way, are you still listening? Are you getting your coffee? She's getting her coffee. So I talk her. I talk about her when she's here. I won't talk about her behind her back. So I'll wait. She gets back. Did, did everybody leave the call when I came on? <laughs> no, they're still here. Todd, are you there? No, I'm back. I'm here. Oh. Hold on, I gotta get my headset. Okay, I'm here. No, I was just saying, you know, how sometimes I told you, we talked about before, you're not, you list, you're not a very good listener. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know I sometimes do that, too. Like, I interrupt or my thoughts go. But I, I think, don't... I think you do that, though, because you're, you're thinking so quickly and you're like, you're on the next thing. You don't want to forget what you're going to say or whatever. Am I right or is that wrong? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It's like, I just remember something out of the blue and then. Mm-hmm. But I don't stop to wait. Right. I, I just say, oh, you know what? You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, that's cool. But I, I just, I, yeah. But anyway, I, I just don't like, I mean, I just think when you, I mean, for me, look, to me, when any kind of friendship I have, whether it's um, any kind of relationship I have, whether it's a friendship or a romantic relationship or a family member, to me, as long as you just show me respect, I will show you respect. I mean, to me, I don't want any more from someone than I give to them. And I don't want any less either which I told you before creates an issue because I, I give a lot to people. And so sometimes they can't live up to the same, the same level of expectations, which is probably my own problem, but it is what it is. Um, so are you, uh, are you David, are you um, going to go see gravity or not? Uh, if somebody would tell me what happened in the movie, he wants me to tell him what happens in the movie. I'm not going to tell him what happens before in the movie. He, before he watches it. Yes. Why would I do that? That ruins the whole freaking movie. I might tell but I don't happens. mind spoilers. Well, I'm not yeah, going to spoil for everybody spoiler else. Oh, like my God. Spoilers. Me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> this whole movie, though, is about the suspense. It's all about what happens next. So you, I couldn't tell you. I'm not telling you shit. So if you want to see the movie, you'll <laughs> have to go so watch mean. it. That is so mean. No, it's I'm not, not mean. Going to, I'm not giving Sandra Bullock a dime in my mind until I found out what's going on. <laughs> Sandra Bullock hadn't done shit to you. <laughs> Leave her alone. That's all right. I won't be seeing it until somebody tells me what's going on. Yeah, oh my because you need, to know, you need to know if it's going to be a good one or not. I just told you exactly. guys it's a good movie. That's all you need to know. It is a good movie. I said it's a good movie. Donovan knows everything about film. And so I'm telling you, I have good taste in film. It is a good movie. Trust well, me. Well, thank you, Mr. Ebert. <laughs> <laughs> I try. I just want to know. <laughs> Mr. Ebert. <laughs> I just want to know. I don't mind spoilers. Oh, I'm not telling you. I'm not going to spoil it for everybody listening to the show who's going to be like watching Gravity and hasn't seen it yet. Okay, you want me to tell you? I'll tell you. Fine. Fuck you. I'll tell you. <laughs> so, I, first of all, spoiler alert anybody who's not seen Gravity and wants to see it, do not listen to this next like two minutes of this show. Okay, so it's like it's gonna sound so stupid. That's what the other reason I want to tell you because it sounds stupid. You have to experience it. Fuck it. I'm not telling you shit. I'm done. No, because it's gonna sound dumb. Me sitting here telling you the stories and it's unless it's like fucking boring. I know you're gonna. Oh, say let it's me so ask boring. a question then. Did she die? Uh, spoiler alert. No, she doesn't die. Oh, okay. But she comes she really. Earth? She comes really close about ten thousand times though. She gets back to now, Earth. Yes. Now, on, on the previews, you see somebody flying off into space. Who is that? That's her. Oh. Well, how did she get back to the ship? Oh, my God. Can you <laughs> tell me everything? Just, well, let me just tell you the story from the very beginning. Okay, the opening <laughs> scene, you see the you see the Earth, and you see a, you see a shuttle coming in the, in the distance. I mean, I mean, seriously, I just tell you the whole fucking movie. She, she, what happens is they're doing some repairs on the shuttle. They're up in space doing some repairs on the shuttle, some, like, technical shit. And the Russians had apparently destroyed a spy satellite uh, and it got caught. The debris got caught in the um, Earth's um, gravitational pull. And so it started coming and flying at them and like destroying their shuttle and everything else. And it hit them. And that's what threw them out, out of orbit or whatever, sort of. And so she flies out in the middle of space and she starts like spinning out of control and George Clooney comes out and he ends up saving her sort of. And anyway, they end up getting back together and getting back to the shuttle, eventually finding out that everybody's dead on the shuttle except them. And then they try to get back to the space station 
where they have air because they're running out of air. And they get to the space station, and um, right when they get to it, they get caught. See, this is fucking stupid. They get caught in the shit, and they can't get away from it. And so he has to let go of her, and they're tethered together. And the only way that she she will survive is if he untethers himself from her. So he untethers himself from her. She survives. He flies off in space and dies. And then she gets into the space shuttle, and then she gets in there. She has oxygen again. Oh my god, I'm breathing. Uh. And then she, um, <laughs> and then she, uh, then she's in, the, in there for like ten minutes. And there's a fire, and she tries to put the fire out. And in order to get to save herself, she has to get in this little pod shuttle that takes her to the Chinese space station, which is across the way, a hundred miles away from them. So she gets in this fucking thing. She gets there. She gets caught in this parachute thing, and it won't let her off of this thing. So she can't get away. She has to get out of the fucking shuttle again. She has to go out and fix it. She gets it, fixes it finally. And this fucking debris comes every hour and a half, and it comes at her again, and it starts to throws her out of orbit, destroys the whole space station, the U.S. space station. And then all she's left with is this fucking pod. The pod, then she needs to take the pod and go to this Chinese space station. And on the way to the Chinese space station, she runs out of gas. She's out of fuel, so she can't get to the space station. She decides she's going to give up, and she just wants to fucking die. And all of a sudden, she sees George Clooney's ghost come into the thing. She thinks it's really him surviving. And he comes into the fucking space shuttle with her and says, don't give up, blah, 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 and some inspirational shit. And then he, um, and then she decides to live or whatever, and she... She does this really interesting technological thing that makes the shuttle work, and then she gets to this Chinese space station thing, barely makes it alive inside there, then gets to the shuttle thing, the pod that takes her to the Earth. She gets there, and she's burning up in the middle of the fucking thing. It almost burns her to death. She gets to the very – she lands the fucking ocean. She lands on the, the land, and then she's safe. So then you know the fucking movie. You'll never watch it now. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm not going to see I that. I know, no fucking shit. <laughs> I knew exactly what you were going to do. So I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to go see that. <laughs> it was good. I can't sit here and tell you the, the fucking movie, but it doesn't do it justice. It's, it was a really good movie. But now there's no fucking suspense, so why would you watch it now? It's ridiculous. Was, it, was any of the Avengers in it? I'm just asking. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate the um, synopsis. I, I, now I can make my yes. educated decision and see if I can see it or not. <laughs> well, yes, it was you. a good movie. Whatever you say, it was a good movie. I, and, and apparently, most people who've seen it think it's a great movie too. So I, it's a really good movie. And, but yeah, we we went to another. Um, I've been to it before. We went to an eat a dine in movie thing where you go to the movie and you eat. They serve you food while you're eating the movie, like wine or or you know beer. Or, margaritas whatever and you have like a whole meal while you're watching the movie and so we went there and i had um this shrimp thing and then i had this lobster uh oh. lobster pizza thing and i think that is what made me sick i don't know what made me sick but i ate something of that course it like did <laughs> you're eating lobster at the theater That's shut not up right. it's not like we made the fucking <laughs> You don't get the fucking lobster from the fucking concession stand or something. I mean, come on. It's like actually made in a fucking restaurant. But anyway, but it was not good, apparently. So that's what disagreed with me, I think. But usually I have a good experience there. But this time wasn't so great. But anyway, whatever. The movie was good. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wow. I'm still confused. Well, hi, Deshaun Porter. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, he's saying hi to you, by the way, uh, David. Yeah. Okay, I said hi back. Oh, okay, I didn't see. I, I said hi in the chat room. I was just now scrolling up. Um, anyway, so today though was coming out day for those of you, or yesterday I should say, was coming out day for those of you who don't know. So for oh. those, yeah, for it's the day people who need to come out of the closet should come out of the closet. It's like a day for that, believe it or not. I so. saw that. David, you had a show on that? Or something? Yes, I did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. he did. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so who came out this year, by the way? I had this whole list here. Where the fuck did I put it? The guy from Prison Break. Wentworth Miller, yes. Wentworth Miller came out this year. Um, I had a whole list. Where'd it go? Damn. I hate when that happens. I had a list of 25 people who came out this year. Let me find it. Hold on. It was that many? Yes, twenty five people. Twenty five coming out two thousand thirteen. Okay, let's see here. Um 
not movies coming out. Oh my God. Coming out. Oh, anyway. Um, yeah. And that guy, Fred from that show, you know, that guy that the gay guy, he, he's on that show, Fred for kids. He came out. Um, who else came out? Oh my God. I just saw the list. I can't remember them all, but yeah, there were at least 25 people who came out celebrities this year that came out. And, um, I think it's great. What do you think about people coming out? Do you think it's do you think people sh- are, should be required to come out if they're celebrities, or you think they should come out in their own time? Um, I think they should come out in their own time, and that's what I said in my show earlier to, today. I think was today. Um, I think because everybody's situation is different. Like my situation, I'm sure, is different from your situation. Um, I think it's, it's it's very delicate, and I think people need to know. You know, what, not that what they're coming out to, because I think you have to be yourself. But I think everybody has their own time, and timing is key. Um, I think older people should come out. I, I, is somebody young? I, I don't know. I think er, that's just crazy. Everybody has their own time. That's what I'll say. Well, that's true. But, I mean, you know, the more people who come out and the more visibility there is the more it but helps you, our community, but I don't think it's, that's it's true. required for them to come out. I think it's nice when they do. Yeah, but I think it's nice when they do too, but I think you have to be in your own comfort zone. I think you have to be sure of yourself because um, I was drug out of the closet. You know, I didn't get to actually come out, you know, it was mm-hmm. drug out with court and, and sheriffs and things. But um, I just think everybody has their own um, set of circumstances that I think I, I have to be, um, fair to them is like i can't tell you to come out unless you're ready to do that right i think because like i said earlier i said if there's a weight that's lifted you know once my family knew i was like oh my god i feel you know all the pressure that i had about hiding the secret it it was gone and then um when that happened I, i the rest everything else was easy but i was thinking about this too earlier i don't know about you but i've came out like probably 10 different times Mm -hmm. like different jobs especially when i moved to atlanta nobody knew me except for my friends there uh, different jobs there and i felt it important since i was an out gay man to to share that with the people that work with me or worked for me mm-hmm. so i've come out several different times in several different situations if that makes sense yeah of course yeah i think that's normal or, or typical for people to do it that way um i was going to ask you rose and to be honest what would okay. you What would you do if your, one of your sons came out to you as gay? Would you be? Would, what would you feel? Not that that's going to happen. I'm just saying hypothetically. Oh, hypothetically. Yeah. I I'd, I'd be okay. Would you really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just I feel bad because they'd be all stressed out over it. Yeah. 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 But you wouldn't like kick them out of the house or something or not talk to them no. anymore or anything like that. No, no. And what about you, Todd? What I'm would not you do? Not shocked with anything that you know. Whatever happens, I just see it as part of life. Yeah. You know, so I kind of try to roll with it. I mean, I could never see it because I know how they are. But right. If no, I know they're not gay. I'm just saying hypothetically. Yeah, but if it was something like that, no, I'd be fine with it. Todd, what about you? <laughs> I know you're there, Todd. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. What would you do <laughs> if your son came out to you? Hell no. He's, he's a hell no. 15 years <laughs> old. Your 15 year old son comes to you and says, Dad, I'm gay. What would you say to him? I'm sending him back to the hospital <laughs> where oh we got him God. from. Are you serious? <laughs> He's going to have something to No, I'm joking. He's <laughs> <That's like laughs> <That's> horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Say, I need, to, I need to turn in my Stop return policy. Like, are you sure? This is- <laughs> where, is my, where is my warranty? Are you sure this is the right- yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Oh, my God. Poor kid. He would tease him to death. That's what would happen. <laughs> he would just tease him and joke all the time. Oh yeah! Somebody trans- no, I would. I would oh, go listen. ahead. Sorry, listen. Go ahead. I would, no, I would. I would honestly be perfectly fine with it. I'm a, I'm a loving father as it is. So I don't. You know, I, 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 I think that's. I, I can see that. I mean, I that's what I would figure you would be like. I I I see you as somebody who's. Uh, I see I see you as someone who really loves your son, 
And I mean, it's obvious.